everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Vanguard S-Pod Plus 204AP. It's an aluminium alloy tripod, it comes complete with a carry bag. This is the box I'm showing you now, just give you a little bit of a close up on that. This shows you all of the main features really, but I'm going to show you the tripod up a little bit closer in a short while. Now you do get some bonus items inside the box as well, let me just show you what else you get. You not only get the tripod itself, which is sitting here, but you also get a user manual. So it's great that they include a user manual for you. You also get what I'm going to call a sort of a stubby centre column. Now, what I mean by that is, at the moment on this tripod, we've got a long centre column here with a little hook on the end. This is for perhaps put in, put in some accessory bag or a stone weight to give more stability to the tripod. But also, if you want to get the, the legs right out of the lowest position, you can actually unscrew this and replace, replace this long sensor arm with this stubby sensor arm, and then you can remount this uh, panning three-way tripod head uh, onto this sort of stubby sensor column. So th let me just give you a close-up of that. So this replaces that long sensor column. So great that they include that with the tripod. Now let's give you a look at the 204AP a little bit closer. So let me give you a closer look at the three-way pan head first of all. Now we've got a control here which we can loosen and tighten by turning this hand grip. In its loosened position we can fluidly move the up and down tilt on this uh, sort of level platform so that's really cool. That's very very smooth action as well. We can also uh, turn this one here and this allows us to tilt into sort of portrait or landscape mode and, and again that's very fluid feels very positive in, in its movement now whilst it's up in this position I'll just show you the quick release plate now I've already got this uh, quick release uh, sort of platform mounted on the bottom of my Canon 60D uh, once it's in position it pushes this little release uh, portion here which allows the uh, sort of securing arm to keep everything in place and then when you click it round this pops out so you can easily mount and unmount your cameras onto the tripod. Let's pop this back round into this position I'll show you some of the other controls. If I turn this one here I can actually rotate through 360 degrees and I can lock it back into position by turning this back down and then it stops it from moving. So again I can rotate around 360 degrees and then lock that back down to prevent the movement. Now there are a couple of other controls. Let me just show you this one. This is the central column lock. We can unscrew this and this allows us to raise the tripod and lower it. And then when it's in the position we want, we can simply screw it down tight. We've also got on here, if I just tilt the tripod up for you, We've also got a bubble level as well, so this is great for ensuring that the tripod is on a level ground. And then let me show you the legs as well. These are absolutely great. They obviously fold back into the body of the tripod for when you're transporting it around. And then you can bring them out to this sort of angle, which is a very, very good angle for a sturdy platform. But if you want to get really low shots, you might want to replace this central column with the little stubby one I showed you earlier and then you can actually slide this down and then extend the leg all the way round to a really really shallow angle so very very good that we get all of this extra sort of manoeuvrability in the legs they lock into position at certain angles as well and then if I push that again I can get it again to that very low angle now moving on to the feet let me just pull this one leg out and show you the the foot portion of the leg and also this uh, sort of the, the extensions that come out as well to give you extra height first of all just on the foot this is a rubber foot if you're on rough terrain you can screw this in and it reveals a spike so you can actually get it to sit on very rough terrain extremely easily and then these little clips here actually unclip and then allow you to extend the legs out so a great deal of uh, sort of ease of positioning, ease of manoeuvring the tripod, everything clicks into place really nicely and it seems to perform extremely well. We've also got on two of the legs here, you can just, uh, we've got these sort of 
padded grip areas as well. This is really nice for if you're carrying the tripod. So let's set this down on the desk and then I'll just cover off some of the other features of the 204 AP. So in closing, the features that I really like about the S-Pod Plus 204 AP are the actual fluidity of movement, uh, panning in sort of up and down motion and also when I release this one round and pan through 360 degrees, very very smooth and excellent for both video and photo work. Now the other things I like are the actual sort of dimensions of the tripod. When I fold this up, the actual measurement of the 204 AP is just over 20 inches in length, so it makes it very portable for carrying around. And weight wise, it's only weighing in at just under three pounds. Now the capability of this tripod on this top platform it can carry a camera at round about 4.4 pounds in weight so that's very good and supports sort of those larger DSLRs and also height wise when you extend these legs out to their sort of full capacity it's just over 57 inches in height so a very fully featured tripod and the price is absolutely superb too the S-Pod Plus 204 AP is going to cost you round about the 79 to £89 mark in the UK and round about the $90 to $100 mark in the US. I think it's a very good value prop proposition. It actually works very well for me and I can't recommend it highly enough. It's very well constructed and certainly feels like it's going to last for a long, long time. So this is the Vanguard S-Pod Plus 204 AP tripod. Thank you very much for watching. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.